Alright, it's Ant Lion Alpha. Welcome to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. So, there we've got Rareware. Give me him. Give me Rareware. I want him back. And I will hand it over to Nintendo. Where it's. where it has made an impact. Okay. What is this? What is this? Is that a banjo? What, what what what's that behind him? Was that some sort of kazooie? What what's going on? Is that another banjo? And they got a little Glover frog down there. And what that is not a that's not what a kazoo looks like. I don't know what kazooie is playing. Just some like trumpet horn. Like not like not a trumpet with the keys or anything, but. Just the horn, just like it's been sawed off at the end with a little cone shaped. What is that, a little beetle down there? A little ladybug? Well, it doesn't have any spots, so it's not a ladybug. So why did I even make that assumption? And since everyone that does this game opens up with the intro, I might as well. Okay. Mumbo, you're funny. Or no, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Lanky, you're funny. Yeah, Lanky Kong, you play those instruments. Look at Lanky Congo with that violin, xylophone, and he had a sax. Lanky had a sax. It's not not there no more. Okay. So let's go. Let's go. Yeah, there's black screens when you hit something like that. When you get the puzzle piece transformation, I'm not doing that one. And so many people just say, oh, it's a Game Boy, that's super cool. But you know what? Everyone, everyone picks this file. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna be a nice, healthy chef. Let's be a chef. Yeah, there you go, Kazooie. Pop out when I say chef. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and watch this. I mean, Banjo, Banjo's a good chef. Cook some nice ramen, maybe. You know, he could have been boiling some ramen. Maybe having a ramen noodle every night, like... What was it, Emily in that Allstate commercial? I don't know. There's that door knocker that's so suspicious. That's one of them. You'll see those later on, much later on in the game. Okay. Ding pong, ding pong, by the bench. Who's the nicest looking wench? I'm gonna have a horrible voice. Why, it's Grunty. Any day, she really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. I'm sorry. I'm sorry already. Uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, no, no. You must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Do I want to continue this? Do I really want to continue saying these voices? You're probably already tuned out. Okay, I'm done. Well, well, we'll see. And I was just gonna read the dialogue because this this game has pretty funny dialogue. Sometimes, sometimes it's just plain like game introduction. But uh, over the years, it's kind of worn down. It's just like, oh, Kazooie hates bottles, and they always call each other with insults that are appropriate appropriate for kindergartners. Yeah, see, this this is an interesting. Okay. Let's go on, Tootie. Tootie does resemble Tiny Kong in a way. See, okay, you see that picture in the back? We'll, we'll get a better look at it really soon. But yeah, yeah, that picture. Uh, I've heard there's there was a beta level that they never released called Fungi, Fungus Forest. Similar to Fungi Forest in Donkey Kong 64. But yeah, that picture... It looks like there's mushrooms going on, growing on the tree, so I think that that's their, like, thing to... What the hell is going on? Okay, that's their, like, tribute to the level that died. There's also, like, other levels, like... Uh, there was a, supposed to be a uh, lava level, which Gobi mentions, but they actually put a lava level as part of Hailfire Peaks in the second game. And there was one other one. Can't remember what it was. Alright, Grunty. I like the solidness of the polygons. Like, it looks like they've been smoothed with, like, a sander. Like, Kazooie's...
feathers look like they've been sanded down, got nice round edges, so no... There's a few points that you can see, but it looks kind of nice and... Sphere. Just so sphere. Okay. We'll get going real soon, don't ya? Don't you worry about things. Okay. Let's get outside! There's some trouble happening. Kazooie, you only have so many feathers, and that's like the game over screen, so... Not sure why that, sir. Oh, what, what? Oh. I guess, uh... I guess the cutscenes go by a lot slower than they do... Or, when you're actually commentating over them, when you're, like, waiting for them to play the game on a practice file. Listen, I'm Bottles the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this is here is my buddy Kazooie. You can press A to speed up text. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can I talk? Other than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Come down, Gigi. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain. I can't keep track of all these voices. And they kind of have their own voices anyway. You can hear them. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna skip out on the moves right now. Yes, I will. I surely will. Okay, B. And if you press uh, L, R, and B all at the same time when you're going through dialogue, uh, you'll skip the whole conversation. Okay, here's Banjo-Kazooie. Do I really need to say anything about this game? I mean, you all know. You all know this. Should know. Okay. But, I mean, there's nothing really to say now. I mean, you can see enemies. Okay, uh, right now, I'm gonna do something a bit unorthodoxed. And I'm gonna skip all the empty honeycomb pieces in this area. Because there's six, there six empty honeycomb pieces. If you get six, uh, you get a health upgrade. Right now we have five, but it's just so weird getting a health upgrade right away, so I'm gonna save it for later, and I like this. I like how it gets mushy here, like all these like mushy algae stuff. It feels so good on our bare feet. So now that we've up here, we've upped here, we've upped and atomed here. Trickled down with sure. Okay, I'm skipping this. Skipping most of the dialogue, so there's really no point in doing voices. Okay, I'm going to say right now, uh, I'm going to get through this as fast as possible. I'm only going to get two Jiggies in the first world, because that's how many you need to enter Treasure Trove Cove. And I'm going to try and make this uh, uh, wishy-washy Banjo playthrough. So I'm going to get get him as soon as possible. And then... And I know, I know right now, you don't have to tell me, I know there's uh, certain drawbacks to having them, like your height is sh shortened, so there's certain like notes that you have to backflip to as regular banjo that you can't get as washing machine banjo and there's a few jiggies you won't be able to get but uh, I will be uh, once I've gotten all of them that I can in the nine worlds I will go back for them as regular banjo so you don't need to, you don't need to worry about that I've got this all sorted out and uh, okay but also there he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. I just should never have a specific voice for a character, because there's too many to keep track of. I should just, like, do random voices for, like, a, a same character can have the same voice. How about that? Okay, there's our first jig. We got it. We're a jigger. Whoa, deja vu. Sorry, I accidentally hit reset. So we need to do get this jig again. I didn't save it. Uh, and I don't think I did this, but even though I always do this when I play this game, I like to go on each platform in order of elevation. So that one's first, then this one, then that, there we go. There, there's my OCD at work. So. I want to always do voices. Okay, but anyway, about the honeycomb thing, the reason I skip those, besides the fact that it's weird to get, uh... Uh, honey, uh, it's weird to get a life upgrade right away. It's also because, uh, there's a total of 24, how to do math, uh, 24 honeycomb pieces. You only, there, uh, you only get an, a life upgrade for, uh, 
the first 18, so there's only three life grade upgrades you can get, so when you get the last honeycomb piece in the last world, it seems it seems really stupid and pointless, so uh, because the ones in the overworld, or spiral mountain are so easy to get, I just choose to get those last, so uh, the one I get in click clock wood is actually, give, has a finality to it, and what the hell? I've never seen that. I've always seen, like, the 2002 black screen, yeah, because this is emulated, and... Yeah, this is emulated, and there's, like, a 2002 thing. I think the ROM came out in 2002, that's why. And so, I'm just gonna get two Jiggies in this level. First, I'm gonna get the moves, if I can. Well, I'm going to. I better can. I sure better can! There's that bull. Look at him. Look at him. Just look at the bull. Okay. Conga, don't need- Oh wait, I do need you. I need to get this, so I might as well get this Jiggy. Actually, there's gonna be two Jiggies I have to get right now. So, I guess these'll do. I guess. Okay. Also, I have to give, uh, a shout-out to the Cake Legs, cause, uh, he- he gave me advice, cause this ROM, because it's emulated, it's it, because it's emulated it's a ROM, obviously, but also uh, there, this ROM for some reason it had lag every like 20 to 30 seconds, and so yeah, it had lo it had lag every 20 to 30 seconds, so it would like freeze and it'd be really annoying. It'd be painful to watch like every episode. So I asked him about it, and he said, uh, "What what you have to do is." Go to configure audio plugin and uh, select. Uh, it says like match game to music or match game to audio, and and uh, that that kind of fixes it. So thank you, the cake legs. Put you in the description or okay, get out of here. Okay, and uh, one last thing I need to mention is that. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing two, two playthroughs of this game. The first one is the the Wishy Washy Banjo playthrough, and then the second one is actually a challenge run I made up my I made on my own. Uh, that, it's good to have challenge runs on trademark N64 games. We got the ones I found on Super Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time, but. Yeah, this was, uh, so I made this one, and, oh yeah, I also need 60 notes, so I need to be collecting notes. I think it's, or maybe it's 50 notes, we need to open the note door, because there's note doors you gotta unblock with your notes, so take notes, everybody. Let's get our next move, it's up here, actually there's one right over there, if you could tell where I was pointing in real life. Okay. Here we are. Here we got a little mole. Little mole. We got mole traps in our front yard. Like in the driveway. The drive or not the driveway, but like there's a dirt pile next to the driveway. Uh it used to, it used to be like really like lumpy, but we used it all for like my mom's garden. And yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll talk more about the challenge one when the time comes, because it's going to be right after I finish the game the first time. And I had fun doing it. I mean, it's, it's an emulator-only challenge run, because if you screw it up, there's no turning back, so you need to have save states in case you screw it up, because this game likes to auto-save. I guess I'll get this. Okay, I got three moves, so I have the talent trot, uh, probably by far the most useful of them. Okay. Let's get out of here. I think that's all we need to do. Now it can be Wishy Washy Banzo. I'm not going to be able to do it this one, because there's a, a series of... Wait, no, I still need to get puzzle pieces. They're not puzzle pieces, notes. Man, I'm saying nothing. I'm saying nothing right now. Just nothing at all. Okay. And I... I'll tell you right now, I actually like the, the sequel to this game, Banjo-Tooie better than this one, but I do have to say, I'll, it's, I have to agree with a lot of, like, first games in a series that they usually have the best atmosphere. Well, actually, I've never played the original, the first Gex, but I've played, uh, 
uh, Gex 2, and I thought that had a much better atmosphere, like, with the music than, than Banjo, or, <laughs> with Gex 3. But it's, like, same for Banjo, Kazooie, and Banjo 2. I wouldn't say the music's better in this game, but I'd just say, like, I don't know, the whole, like, stop and swap thing, conspiracy has, I am gonna be do getting the stop and swap eggs in this thing. I'll talk more about that later if you don't, if you do, ha wait, did I, how many notes do I have? I have 31. Why am I doing this? I'm trying to escape, but I just can't. I can't get out of the grip of the notes. Okay, hopefully we can just get to something. Get to Treasure Trove Cove. I don't, I think there's a few notes in Mumbo's lair. Mumbo, er, Lanky's skull. If you don't know why I'm calling him Lanky, uh, you either haven't watched Gex 2 or Donkey Kong 64. So I kind of explained it in both of those. I, st I first mentioned it in Gex 2, because it was a dream I had. I guess I'll explain it later if you want me to. How many? 42. Okay. Getting on. Getting on. I call these ants. They're pink ants. Because termites have more of like a... Their abdominum... Their... Ab abdom their thorax and their abdomen... Uh... Blend in better with, uh... With their head. Like, it, it looks kind of like they're all... It's all one segment. But, uh... Yeah, ants have like a very... S a lot smaller thorax and their head's bigger... I got stories on ants. I used to... One time I was trying to... Er, yeah, I was trying to save an ant out of my pool. Because it was drowning. And I was like a, a bug fanatic. I didn't want any bugs dying. So, uh, I... I took it out of the pool. But then I accidentally dropped it in a spider web nearby. And it like immediately came out and grabbed it. It was like one of those spider webs that's like... It's like a cobweb. Like it doesn't have... Like it's not like simple strands. It's... It's, uh... Like, it, like, there's, like, no spacing between the strands. It just looks like, like, it's, like, fabric, almost. It was, like, a funnel web spider, except I don't think it was, because we don't really get those here. But, yeah, I came out and ate the ants, and I was really sad. I felt like I was gonna be under arrest for murder. So, get out of here, bottle bottles. Alright. We will end here. And shut up, everybody! Not everybody, but grunty, as in the, the grunty buddy. Shut up, grunty buddy! Alright. Next time we will hopefully uh, get the code for Wishy Washy Banjo and going through all the puzzles. I'll show you where that is. So, Bing Bang, goodbye.